Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're experiencing slow Ethernet speed on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot. Best match, go back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, you want to select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, you want to select the Internet Connections Troubleshooter and then the Run button that corresponds to it. And then I recommend following along with the prompts on the screen here as it pertains to your particular case. And hopefully it should be able to resolve the issue. Something else we can try here as well, if we open up the search menu and type in CMD, best result should come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word. Attach that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration. Successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Next command you want to type in is netsh space winsock. W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space, reset, exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, N-E-T-S-H, space, Winsock, space, reset. Hit enter on the keyboard. Should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And then one further thing we can attempt as well, if you're still having an issue beyond reaching out to your internet service provider and then paying for or upgrading to a higher plan that you know offers greater internet speeds, which is obviously an option, but not a really a troubleshooting based guide like I have on this video or most videos on my channel. But anyway, one other thing we can attempt here as well would be to reset our network settings back to default. So if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection, you're going to have to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby because once we are done with our next step and we restart our computer, you will need to enter those credentials back in to get online. So with that said, let's go ahead and proceed. So open up the search menu and you want to type in settings. Best result should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, select network and internet. And then on the right side, you want to go down and underneath advanced network settings and go ahead and left click on that. Underneath more settings, select network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings. Go ahead and left click on that. So this will remove, then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select Yes. So you will be signed out of your computer. So let's just go ahead and actually close out of everything and then manually restart our device. And hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Goodbye, I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.